in the hand, the carpal bones of the wrist articulate with metacarpals of the digits. The joints at the base of the four fingers, the carpometacarpal joints at the base of the fingers, are planar joints which allow a gliding movement. Special attention should be given to the joint between the metacarpal of the thumb and the carpal bone which articulates with this metacarpal, the trapezium. This is the lateral bone in the distal row of carpal bones. This is known as a saddle joint and it is the only saddle joint in the body. Now all of these carpometacarpal joints are synovial joints and diarthroses. But this saddle joint allows extra classes of movements. It is our opposable thumbs, our very dexterous thumbs, which give humans and other primates such dexterous hands which allow for tool manipulation and give us the great range of movements which we use our hands for. This joint, this saddle joint, allows not only the flexion and extension of the thumb and the abduction and adduction of the thumb, it also allows for opposition. This is the description of the fact that the thumb can touch the tips of each of the other fingers. It is because of this highly mobile saddle joint between the trapezium and the metacarpal of the thumb that we have such a range of movement of our thumb and thus such dexterous hands.